Hey everyone, this is just to review some of the rules um, that we figured out, some of the guidelines for writing a good melodic line uh, for what we're going to do for the first two weeks of this class, which is called Species Counterpoint. So as we have discovered, um, one of the most important things is that um, we're starting a melody uh, in on scale degree one and ending on scale degree one. So let's say if uh, we have we start with bass clef, and there's no key signature, so this is in C. So we have to start with C, and we have to end with C. Okay? So that's one of the main things that you have to remember. Another thing is to um, would be useful is to work backwards. Okay? So the approach to the cadence, this is what we're going to call the cadence, okay? the approach to the end, okay? um, at the cadence point, Okay, uh, we have to approach uh, scale degree one by step. Okay, so in this case, step means uh, an interval of a second. So it's either one step above or one step below. Okay. Either one's good. Um, so pick one, and we can figure out from there. Now, for your melody, it really should have a pleasing shape. That means it should sort of have a you know a shape of some kind where there's a high point. It doesn't necessarily have to be in the middle, it, has to be, it can be somewhere else, but it should hit that high point once, okay? Uh, and, and the way to approach that high point, um, it's up to you. Uh, but, but that's the general idea of a pleasing shape for the melody. Now, one, once we're getting into sort of writing out the notes here, uh, in general, we're looking for intervals that are all consonant. Do not use uh, any sevenths. Um, any tritones, uh, or if in minor, uh, any augmented seconds, okay? So these should all be consonant intervals. So definitely no sevenths um, and no tritones, okay? Remember that in um, even in C major, there is a naturally occurring tritone between B and F, okay? So no skips um, between B and F, no leaps between B and F, okay? We're writing primarily steps and skips, right? And uh, you should not... Uh, include more than one leap. Uh, we're talking about steps as a way to to uh, call a interval of a second. That's a step. We can call um, an interval of a third as a skip. Okay. And uh, in general, we're using these kinds of intervals. Now, the idea here is that um, you're mostly going in a in these small intervals. Um, but uh, you do want a pleasing shape, right? So you want some kind of a high point. So sometimes you might want to go up um, to that high point. Um, and you can, again, do that with skips and, and, um, and steps. Uh, but if you use too many steps, it just kind of, kind of meander a lot. So what you could consider, for example, um, <clears throat> is at a certain point, let's say I want a high point sort of over here. I'm going to write uh, a step. From that E. Now I have Do, Mi, Fa, right? And then if I wanted to skip, I'm sorry, if I wanted to leap to a higher note, let's say I wanted to leap to a C. Now we're calling any interval um, above a third as a leap, okay? Right. So that could be um, one possible uh, way to write that, that, that high point. Um, although, um, it does say that it's good to precede and also follow a leap with stepwise motion um, where possible, but with uh, motion in the opposite direction. Okay, so that's one of the things that we, we're thinking about as well. So I could solve that by uh, first, since I leapt up, I can resolve it down with a step. This is a step down. Okay. And you see here, um, I do have a step. Step, but it's not necessarily in, in the opposite direction because I leapt up. So I would like to uh, precede these, this leap um, by a stepwise motion going down. So I can solve that by just adding one more note here. Right. So now I have sort of um, a shape where I have that high point, and that's, it's achieved by a leap. And then also it's preceded by uh, a step and then followed by a step in the opposite direction. Okay. So again, a few things to remember. Uh, we're starting and ending our melodies on scale degree one. At the cadence point, 
the scale degree one has to be approached by step. In this case, it has to be either seven, scale degree seven, or scale degree two. We're generally using only melodic intervals that are um, that are consonant. Okay, so do not use sevenths, and tritones, or in minor augmented seconds. Um, we're trying to create a pleasing shape with one or two high points, um, with one or two high or low points. Uh, and at most one immediately repeated note, so try not to repeat notes too much. Uh, we're writing primarily steps and skips, and if you want to, um, you can include no more than one leap, okay? Uh, but that leap uh, should be followed and preceded with a step um, in the opposite direction, a step wherever possible, okay? So, uh, yeah, so take a look at the guidelines that we came up with and try on your own to write some of these melodies and bring them back to class.